Well, hello there. Welcome back. If you are new, please consider subscribing. My name is Yadi and I make educational videos for beauty professionals in training and for anyone who likes to continue their learning. In today's video, we will be reviewing and going over monomer liquid and polymer powder nail enhancements. Please be sure to read your textbook for more information on each subject. Information is not limited to the one shown in this video. Now let's get started. Liquid and powder nail enhancements are created by combining a monomer liquid mixed with polymer powder. A powder in a white, clear, pink, and maybe other colors to form the nail enhancement. Mono means one, and mer stands for units. So a monomer is one unit or one molecule. Poly means many, so polymer means many units, or many molecules linked together in a chain. Monomer liquid and polymer powder products can be used in four basic ways. Number one, on the natural nail as a protective overlay. Two, over a nail tip as a reinforcement. Three, on a form to create a sculptured nail extension. Four, to create small work of art on top or inside a nail enhancement. A natural hairbrush is the best option for applying these products. The brush is immersed in the monomer liquid. The natural hair bristles absorb and hold the monomer liquid. The tip of the brush is then touched to the surface of the dry polymer powder. And as the monomer liquid absorbs the polymer powder, a small bead of product forms. This small bead is then placed on the nail surface and molded into the shape with the brush. The monomer liquid portion is usually one of three versions of monomer used in the nail industry. Ethyl methacrylate, methyl methacrylate, or orderless monomer liquid. All three often contain other monomers that are used as customizing additives. The industry standard is the ethyl methacrylate monomer, EMA, and orderless monomer liquid. Methyl methacrylate MMA is not recommended for use on nails and is illegal according to the state board rules in most states. Here are a few reasons why MMA should not be used. MMA nail products do not adhere well to the nail plate. MMA creates the hardest and most rigid nail enhancement, which makes them very difficult to break. MMA is very hard to remove and does not dissolve easily. The FDA says not to use it. When liquid is picked up by a brush and mixed with powder, the bead that forms on the end of the brush quickly begins to harden. In order for this process to begin, the monomers and polymers require special additives called catalysts, additives designed to speed up the chemical reactions. Catalysts are added to the monomer liquid and used to control the set or curing time. The catalyst energizes and activates the initiators. The initiators found in polymer powder, when activated by a catalyst, will spring into action and cause monomer molecules to permanently link together into long polymer chains.
This action is referred to as a polymerization process. This begins at the time the liquid in the brush picks up powder from the container and forms a bead. Creating polymers can be thought of as a chain reaction, also known as polymerization reaction, a process that joins together monomers to create very long polymer chains. The initiator that is added to the polymer powder is called benzoyl peroxide. It is the same ingredient used in over-the-counter acne medicine, except that it has a different purpose in nail enhancement products. Orderless monomer liquid and polymer powder products do not necessarily have the same chemistry as other monomer liquid and polymer powder products. Rather than using ethyl acrylic, these products rely on monomers that have little odor. Even though these products are called odorless, they do have a slight odor. Odorless products must be used with a dry mix ratio, equal parts liquid and powder in a bead. If they are too wet when applied, the client risks developing a skin irritation or sensitivity. Odorless products harden more slowly and create a tacky layer on the top called the inhibition layer. This layer can be rolled off or filed away with a medium grit abrasive used from cuticle to free edge. Identify the supplies. The monomer liquid will be combined with polymer powder to form the nail enhancement. The amount of monomer liquid and polymer powder used to create a bead is called the mix ratio. A bead mix ratio can be best described as dry, medium, or wet. If equal amount of liquid and powder are used to create the bead, it is called a dry bead. Dry beads can be difficult to press into place and will usually contain many air bubbles. If twice as much liquid and powder is used to create the bead, that is called a wet bead. Halfway between these two is the medium bead, which contains one and a half more liquid and powder. Medium beads are the ideal mix ratio for working with monomer liquids and polymer powders. The perfect bead will be round and shiny when placed on a form. It will settle but not run. The mix ratio typically ensures proper set and maximum durability of the nail enhancement. Polymer powders are available in large containers of traditional pink, white, natural, and clear. However, they are also available in a wide range of colors that mimic almost every shade available in nail polish. Nail primer is used on the natural nail prior to the product application to assist in adhesion. There are basically two kinds of nail primers for preparing the natural nail for a liquid and powder nail enhancement. They are acid-based and non-acid primers, meaning acid-free. All nail primer products must be used with caution and strictly in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Skin contact must be avoided during the application and the SDS sheet should be referenced for safe handling recommendations and specific instructions when using these products. Be sure to allow all nail primer to dry thoroughly. Acid-based nail primer will dry to a chalky white. Acid-free primer will dry to a shiny, sticky surface. Never apply nail enhancement product over wet nail primer.
This can cause product discoloration and surface breakdown. Nail primer should only be applied to the nail only once and only to the natural nail. Avoid putting nail primer on plastic nail tips. It can cause the tip to melt, become brittle, and break down the adhesive used to attach the tip to the natural nail. Abrasives is a term used to describe nail files and buffers. Grit refers to how many grains of sand are on the file per square inch. So for example, if there were 100 grits of sand per square inch, then the particles will be spread apart, creating a rougher surface. If there were 240, the sand particles will be closer together, creating a smoother surface. The higher the number, the softer it'll be. The lower the number, the rougher the abrasive will be. Keep in mind that the different abrasive core materials will also change how an abrasive will work. Plastic and wood cores are used for files in plastic. Sponge cores are used in buffers. The wood will make the abrasive more aggressive. The sponge core will form around the nail and therefore be more gentle. Here is a list of common abrasives used for filing, shaping, and buffing nail enhancements. A coarse grit file, 100 grit or lower, is strong enough to thin the enhancement product to prepare it for a refill or rebalance. Avoid using coarser lower grit abrasives or aggressive techniques on freshly applied enhancement products. This can damage freshly created nail enhancements and also create lifting, which happens when artificial products lift up or pull away from the nail. A medium grit file, anywhere between 150 to 180, is used for the initial shaping of the perimeter of the nail, refining the overall surface shape of the nail enhancement or for smoothing the surface before buffing. A fine grit file, 240 grit or higher, is used for refining and finish filing. This file is also used to shape the free edge of a natural nail. Buffers also come in groups between 100 and 400. These buffers are used to remove the scratches in the surface of the nail that files have created. A shiner is a buffer, usually 400, 1000, or 4000, used to create a high shine on a natural nail or a nail enhancement when no polish will be worn. Nail tips and forms, they may be used if the guest would like to extend the length of the nails. Nail tips are preformed plastic nail extensions that can be attached to the nail with an adhesive to create length before overlaying with liquid and powder. Nail forms are placed under the free edge of the natural nail and used as a foundation and guide to sculpt liquid and powder beyond the fingertip to create length. Dappen dish is a small glass or plastic container that holds a minimum amount of product for one service use. These dishes usually have narrow openings to minimize the evaporation of liquids into the air. Each time the brush is dipped into the dappen dish of monomer, it is contaminated with small amounts of polymer powder, so always be sure to discard unused portions after the service. Nail brush, the most suitable nail brush to use for liquid and powder enhancements is a natural hair brush composed of Kolinsky or sable or a blend of both. These brushes are oval, 
round, or square and come a variety of sizes. The most commonly used brush for monomer liquid and polymer powder is the number 8 oval brush. Synthetic and less expensive brushes do not pick up enough monomer liquid and do not release the liquid properly. It's important that you choose the brush that you are most comfortable using. Storing and disposing of monomer liquid and polymer powder products. Store liquid products separate from dry products, such as powders. All products should be stored in cover containers and kept in a cool, dark area. Do not store products near heat. Be sure to discard all used materials after a service. Never save used monomer liquid that has been removed from the original container. To dispose of a small amount of leftover monomer liquid, carefully pour it into an absorbent paper towel and then place in a plastic bag. Avoid skin contact with the monomer liquid and never pour directly into the plastic bag. Here is a visual of some of the items we have reviewed in this video. If you're a nail tech and you made it to the very end of this video, leave me a nail polish emoji in the comments. And that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for your continued support. If you found the information helpful, give it a like and share it with a classmate or anyone who you may think will appreciate the information. As always, don't forget to keep going, keep growing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.